guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and in this video, we're going to be tackling the right way to handle a dog that jumps. I have to say, you know, I get this question so very many times from so many different people. My dog jumps up and I need to figure out how to stop them from jumping. And can you imagine you have you know, a dinner party set up, you've been planning something for weeks, or maybe you just have a surprise visitor at the door. And what is the first thing that happens when your doorbell rings, your dog zooms past you, runs to the door to greet and jump up on the person on the other side of the door. This happens so often and I completely empathize with you. So in this video, we are gonna be talking about the appropriate way to handle a dog who is jumping because we all know you wanna get them to stop jumping. Really quickly before we get into the video, if you're new here, my name is Jessica, I'm the Furry Family Coach, and there are tons of links in the description I would love for you to check out at the end of this video. So we'll talk to them, we'll talk about them at the end of this video, but right now make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm, and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you look down there, that subscribe button is red. Go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications, that way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video and you don't have to come searching for them. They're just gonna be right there, with the big notification, Jessica posted this, you can click on it and watch immediately. It's the easiest thing to do. Okay, so regardless of what kind of dog you have, and I know there are many different kinds of dogs and some dogs get have a ton of energy more than other dogs, so it may be a little bit more problematic with certain types of dogs just because of their energy level to begin with, but really jumping is something that a lot of dogs do. It doesn't seem to take you know a certain breed to, to prioritize this type of behavior. So, what we have to understand first is why our dog is jumping and we need to instead of working against our dog we need to work with our dog so instead of saying how do i stop the jumping let's say how do i redirect him into doing something more appropriate right so dogs are absolutely amazing at reading our body language and they are really really good at reading our facial expressions as well so a lot of times when a dog jumps yes it is because they have a ton of energy and they're super excited because the stimulus of a new person to greet is just huge it's way up here for your dog right but they also like to see that they that we're just as excited to see them as they are to see us so they want to see our faces and they want to be able to greet us and that is just how they have learned to greet us. And they have gotten positive results from it in the past, right? They have gotten pets and love and possibly even more, maybe treats and a lot of attention and talking to. And so they're getting a lot of positive uh, rewards from the behavior that they have exhibited in the past. So of course, they're going to continue to do it. What we want to do is instead direct that in, direct your dog into doing something else like a sit. Now for most dogs, a sit is really easy to do and not terribly difficult to train. So the key here is going to be that when a new person comes over or you meet somebody new on the street, that stimulus, right, is way up here. Your dog's energy level is way up here. So we need to force the situation, but we need to do so with people who know in advance how to properly respond and react to what your dog is doing. So if it's at the door that your dog jumps up on people, then we want to get our friends and family to come over, ring the doorbell, but act appropriately. We're going to teach each person that they wait on the other side of the door and the door doesn't get open until you can get your dog to sit and be calm and then you can reward that. We're going to, if, if, if your dog jumps up on people that they meet out on a walk on your street, then we're going to get, you know, 10, 12 people that you know, friends and family, to be somewhere along your route and incrementally along your route so that, and they know not to approach your dog so that you can bring your dog up to a point get your dog to sit and then have that person come over and reward your dog for maintaining that sit and that calm. So we don't want to work against our dog. We want to work with 
our dog because they are super excited and we want to let them greet the person so that they can be excited about it. We just need to let them know the appropriate way to do it, which is to probably, depending on what you choose, it could be a sit, it could be a lie down, but something much more calm than jumping up, right? That's the goal. So we need to force the situation with a lot of different people who know not to let your dog jump on them, that know not to walk or run directly at your dog to wait patiently so that you can get your dog in a sit position. Now once you continually reward the behavior that you're wanting to see, your dog is going to start equating that sit, that calm greeting with the reward that they're receiving. And you should equip all of your friends and family, whoever you are um, having do these exercises with you with plenty of treats, with toys, if that's your dog's love language, and let them know that once your dog is calm and sitting down, they can talk to them and give them pets and reward them in all kinds of different ways because that is the behavior we want to reward and your dog will learn that that is the behavior that gets the positive results. So that is what your dog is going to start doing when they come across a new person to greet. Now it is important to note that anytime you start training, it is going to be in incredibly important for you to make sure your dog has had adequate exercise, both mental and physical, before any training session. I recently posted a hyper dog video on my channel, so I will link that in the description below so you can go back and watch that video before you start any training sessions, especially if you have a very energetic or hyperactive dog. You're going to want to take into account, I believe it's seven points, seven strategies to implement to help calm down a hyperactive dog. So these are going to help and aid you in training with your dog, no matter what it is you're training, but especially when you're training an event such as jumping, which is very high energy, it's going to just increase that energy that your dog has. We want to help your dog calm that energy by properly getting it out, right, with exercise, with mental exercises, with physical enrichments and playtime, walking, hiking, whatever it is your dog loves to do. We want to make sure that we're properly providing everything for our dog that they need so that they can express their energy in appropriate ways. And then, of course, we want to start training. And for this instance, when we're talking about jumping, we do want to have our dog do something else because your dog can't sit and jump at the same time. So if we're teaching our dog that the appropriate way to greet a new guest is by sitting down, they can't jump and sit at the same time. So we are re, your dog is going to be relearning. We're teaching a, a more appropriate way to interact with other people. Okay. So like I told you at the very beginning of this video, there are links in the description that I highly recommend you check out. The first one is going to be to my ebook. In the book, I cover the seven canine commandments. I put all of these in place and every home I go into to train first and foremost, before we learn anything else, before we talk about jumping, before we talk about separation anxiety, before we talk about barking, before we talk about anything else, these seven canine commandments go in place in the home. And let me tell you, every single person that have, have implemented these seven miracle steps or the seven canine commandments, as I like to call them in their home, have seen drastic improvements because we're improving the communication that we have with our dog. So that's the first thing I want you to check out. I also want you to check out the link to my Amazon storefront. Oh my goodness. I have curated my favorite pet products for you. Everything that is available on Amazon that I can put on here. These are my favorite products. These are products that I use with my pets. I'm not going to put anything on this list that I don't absolutely love and recommend. I took the time to curate this list just for you. So I definitely recommend you check all of that out. It is in the description below. Also, uh, because you clicked on this video and I know you have an issue with a jumping dog, I highly recommend you go through my beginner dog training series. There is a link in the description below. There's 19 videos and I walk you through week by week everything that you need to be training with your dog to build communication and build that trust so that you and your dog understand each other better. You're also training cues along the way and learning some very valuable skills that are going to 
stick with and really provide great value to you and your dog throughout their lifetime. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure to comment down below. Uh, below this video, you're going to find a comment section and any questions you may have, go ahead and post them. If you have any comments about you and your dogs, I would love to hear about what is going on with you and your dog. Definitely take the just a couple of seconds to comment down below. I love to hear from you and I love to be able to respond to you. And I really love your questions because they fuel my Q and A's every Sunday. So go ahead and post those down below. I cannot wait to hear from you. Also, there's gonna be another video popping up like right here, I think. I definitely recommend you check that one out next. I can't wait to see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.